This program is a presentation of UCTV for educational and non-commercial use only. Our planet continues to get warmer. Our dependence on imported oil grows every day, creating economic and environmental challenges. Is there an answer? At this revolutionary algae farm in the Imperial Valley, work on that answer is already well underway. Curing our oil addiction and gaining energy independence is the scientific challenge of our generation, and algae can answer that challenge. Algae is easy to grow. It doesn't need prime cropland. It requires minimal fresh water. Algae creates chemical energy from sunlight. Algae grow incredibly fast, making it amazingly productive. It is the most promising source of renewable transportation fuel that we have today, far more efficient than ethanol. To replace 100% of our liquid fuel requirements would require planting more than 150 million acres of corn and soybeans, but less than 30 million acres of algae. Using corn and soybeans to produce biofuels requires fertile land, fresh water, and lots of fertilizer. And producing biofuels from food crops will reduce our ability to feed the world. Ethanol requires a whole new type of infrastructure to get it to the pumps. With algae biofuels, we go into existing pipelines that we have there today. The process of creating algae-based fuels is in its early stages, but it is happening, and algae biofuels will be affordable, under $2 a gallon, in the next five to 10 years. And that's what you end up with. It's the future of biofuels. Not only do we have the ability to we, to grow the algae here, but we have the brain power and the scientists and the academic institutions in San Diego. About 80 miles due west of the Imperial Valley, a singular partnership has come together. The San Diego Center for Algae Biotechnology, or SDCAB, combines world-renowned scientists, chemists, economists, and engineers. One of the things that interested me most about uh, the opportunity with algae is that it represents a convergence of many different disciplines of biology, of aquaculture, chemical engineering. That's what we've tried to do as BioLite as a company, as well as the SDCAB initiative is directed towards bringing together those multiple disciplines that are required for a new algae industry. Located at the University of California, San Diego, the center was initiated by three leading research institutions in the region, UC San Diego, the Scripps Research Institute, and UC San Diego's Scripps Institution of Oceanography. About 50 years ago, Scripps helped to found the University of California, San Diego, for the very reason that we could do projects with the full campus of the UC system that we couldn't do by ourselves. It's particularly exciting to work on the algae project because we see it as a way of solving the very problem that Scripps helped identify 50 years ago, namely the excess carbon dioxide that human beings are putting into the atmosphere. For UC San Diego, the center is a perfect outgrowth of its nationally recognized sustainability 2.0 research and programs and the university's academic and economic mission. Collaborative research is one of the hallmarks of UC San Diego. We expect that by working together with the private sector, with the schools, with the county, with the city, we'll be able to do things that were simply impossible before. We'll create jobs, we'll enrich the economy, we'll use energy in a better way, we'll contribute to a more sustainable future for everyone. It's clear that there's something really special happening here, that there are scientists from many different areas who are coming together to do something special and something greater than any of us could do by ourselves. Cleantech San Diego was created to position San Diego as a world leader in the green economy. And what is very special about the San Diego region is that we know how to create large economic engines. We know how to take a good idea out of the labs and commercialize it. And scientists exploring the amazing potential of algae are at the heart of it all, driving the economic engine of the future. After spending many years in a career on basic research problems, it's really satisfying to be able to work on something that might actually change the world, improve the economy, and put people to work. We should be talking about creating high-tech and green-collar jobs in the tens of thousands. Jobs that are sorely needed throughout the San Diego region, 
especially here in the Imperial Valley. There's a real symbiotic relationship between the uh, algae production and the renewable energies and agriculture here in the Imperial County. And so the potential is, uh, is huge for this region. Unemployment in some areas of the Imperial Valley has reached nearly 25 percent, one of the worst job situations in the nation. The impact on employment in Imperial County with a successful algae industry is going to be, going to be dramatic. Paul Eng and his company Carbon Capture built this algae farm to create jobs, advance science, and make the future better for his children. My youngest child being four years old, uh, they're going to have to deal with the issues from our pollution. And we have an obligation to do the best job we can in capturing CO2. Algae-based fuels will reduce greenhouse gas emissions by reducing the amount of carbon dioxide in the environment. This is a win-win situation because the fuels that we make from this will then be derived from carbon that we've taken up from the power industry and then we'll burn that. So we'll basically get two cycles on a single carbon which will minimize the loading of the atmosphere with CO2. And there are other secondary benefits. Algae-based fuel products produce feed for livestock, chicken, and fish. And research into algae will create new medical therapies. And this is the hub where we can really make it happen. I see that uh, the, the ingredients of academia, the ingredients of fellow entrepreneurs who really understand how to make a startup occur, and then those of us coming from big industry who understand how to make something to the sort of scale that we need to, to really make a difference in energy, is all coming together. Working Algae Farms, the world's finest researchers, scientists, and engineers. The right people in the right place the San Diego Center for Algae Biotechnology. Producing bioenergy from algae is not science fiction. This is science fact. It's real and it's happening now. After all, this is our collective future and it deserves real answers. Scientists, industry, communities, we all need to come together so we can build a better world.